Hello, it's uh, Christmas Eve 2020. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's a Worman wheel, of course, uh, with a wheel of two uh, thread forms. One is a thread form is made with an involute curve and the other is merely a trapezoidal form. So over to the screen server and we'll have a look at this in a bit more detail. So let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. Select that face, V squares it up. So there we are, we see the worm thread form is a plain trapezoidal thread. This wheel has a plain trapezoidal thread, but this one's got an involute curve for a thread. A bit more business like. If we turn it round sideways, we can use this little gadget down the bottom left hand corner, flip it round, we'll see that the teeth are angled to suit the the angled thread. This is the top of the the worm wheel by the way, so it's opposite angle to that to the worm. So that's the trapezoidal one. Here is the involute curve tooth form. So I'm going to show you how to make or how I've made this using a particularly uh, quick method rather than plot out this curve the long-winded way. I've adopted a, a rather more quick way of doing it. Uh, might not be quite so engineeringly accurate but it's certainly good enough to uh, show a depiction of a proper thread form for a, a worm wheel. So here we go with that. We'll hide this for the moment and we'll get rid of that, we don't want that. Now I've got this handy little program here which I've had for a while, a gear generator. And I'm going to start that up, open it out, and it's very handy. You can make little gear wheels and pinion wheels and all sorts of clever things, a pinwheel, a uh, protractor. You can also have a ring gear. That's a gear inside a ring. This one doesn't exactly fit, but um, that's what you can do. Also, a rack, which incidentally is the one we're going to use. So, I've generated one according to some information I've been given by a viewer who was interested in making a model of a worm and wheel. So, we'll use his information and I'm going to load in a rock and pinion with his information. That's that one there. Right. So this I can draw them unmeshed. A little here down here draw unmeshed so they're unmeshed now and they're not animated. So he had a application where he needed a 10 tooth worm wheel. So this is reflected down here, 10 teeth. I've set the rack at 18 there. We don't need 18. We'll take that down. Right, that'll do. Now I'm, I want uh, to capture this as a JPEG. Now the, the, there is up here, you can export it as a bitmap image, 
but also a JPEG because you've got the option of a PNG, a bitmap or a JPEG. Now I've tried these and it gives a very faint image in Design Spark Mechanical, uh, which is hard to see even when you blow it up. But I've found that if I take a screenshot, and first of all I'm going to uh, thicken the lines, yeah, there's a little option here, draw thicker lines, that's there. And also set the screen to, well, we'll set that at 100. And then by increasing the shaft spacing, we can make that fill the screen. All the shapes stay exactly in proportion. So we'll make it fill the screen as much as we can. There we go. Now we can also get rid of the grid. We don't need the grid. We don't really need pitch diameter, although we could uh, perhaps utilize that, but for this purpose we don't really need that. So all we've got is the form, the center of the, the pinion or worm wheel. So by simply pressing the print screen key there, we put that in the system memory and we can use it in I'll just close this. We can use this in Adobe Photoshop or any other graphics program that can display a JPEG. So now we're in Photoshop. We do a Control N for New. OK. Now we've got We've got a long oblong because I've got two screens, it's captured both screens. And a control V. So what we've got here is <laughs> uh, it's captured the screensaver and also the bit we want. So we can isolate that. We can clip it out so then image crop okay at the moment it's it's at 33 percent so using the magnifier we can go up to just to display it at 100 percent there it is that's nice that's exactly what we want so we can save that as a jpeg which i've already done of course just to show uh, save as I think I'll save for web and devices makes it a slightly smaller file uh, save we'll go to the box of tutorials worm and wheel images and that's done now we can use this image in design spark mechanical to make our tooth form when it eventually loads up so we can start a new new design design new the V File, we want to load a file here. I'm going to 
set this at JPEG so we have it worm and wheel and there it is well that's enough for the first part in the next part I'll make the thread forms for the worm and the wheel see you later bye for now bye